a clownfish, don't you? That orange, black, and white striped fish like the one in the Disney Nemo movie? Yeah, you will notice that they often hang out with another marine organism called the sea anemone. This animal has flower-like tentacles filled with neurotoxins. These stinging tentacles can kill or subdue prey such as crabs, plankton, and other smaller fish. Now remember that adult anemones are sessile, which means they are attached to a base and unable to move or swim about freely as the clownfish does. For some reason, the anemone's stink does not bother the clownfish, and I wonder why, but that is a lesson for another day. Now the clownfish is super smart. It knows that the anemone cannot bother it, so it can swim into its tentacles, hide in there, and take refuge from its predator. The clownfish knows that if the predator comes close, it will receive a lethal sting from the anemone. Wow, the clownfish has a haven. The anemone does not miss out on this relationship. The clownfish keeps his anemone friend free from parasites and also provides some vital nutrition to the anemone in the form of droppings and food debris. Because the anemone does not move freely, it is happy to receive this kind of nourishment from the clownfish. According to the Natural History Museum, anemones that harbor clownfish appear to have faster growth rates higher rates of asexual reproduction, and lower mortality than those without fish. So you see, mutualism is a win-win symbiotic relationship and each party is happy.